In a few days, after Parashat B'Shalach, we will celebrate Tu Bishvat, Rosh Hashanah Leilanot, the New Year's of the Trees. This date is connected, among other things, to the mitzvah of Orla, whereas the Torah prohibits any fruit that grows within its first three years. And in the fourth year, as the Torah explains, kol pirio kodesh hilulim la'ashem. All the fruit shall be sanctified for praising Hashem. In order to calculate the age of the fruit, and if it's considered neta revai in its fourth year, the date of Tu Bishvat plays an important role. In the time of the Beit HaMikdash, the temple, the owner would have to bring the fruits to Jerusalem and could only eat them within the city's walls. And as of the fifth year, and only as of the fifth year, one could enjoy the fruits without any limitations. Now, how are we to understand this mitzvah of Orla and Neta Revai? In the first three years, the fruits are usually anyway not ready for, consum for consumption. But as of the fourth year, they are ready to be consumed, and the tree owner, all he wants to do is to rip the fruit off the tree and give it a good bite. But as the Sefer Achinuch explains, the mitzvah of Neta Revai, to bring the fruit in the fourth year is there in order for us to honor Hashem with the first of our harvest as an act of thanksgiving, appreciation, and self-control. This teaches us Judaism's important lesson on how we are to treat our earthly resources, that we are not to take them for granted, but rather appreciate and sanctify them. On Tu Bishvat, the new year of the trees, we should feel the awareness, as the Torah teaches us, Ki Adam which Rabbi Hirsch translates as man's existence is the tree of the field. Or as the Midrash teaches, man owes his existence to the trees. Therefore, with great gratitude to Hashem, we must deal responsibly and ecologically with our trees in, and our nature in general. Let me end with a wonderful Midrash explaining this principle that tells us how God, after creating Adam, took him and showed him all the trees in the Garden of Eden. And he told him, listen, Adam, all these trees I have made, I've created for you. Be mindful not to spoil and destroy them, for if you do, no one afterwards will come to repair it. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you.